Hello everyone. Welcome to our pre-calculus class. This is lesson 21, introduction to matrix algebra, addition, subtraction, and multiplication of matrices. So, let's begin. These are the agenda. The, find the sum and difference of two matrices. Find scalar multiples of a matrix. Find the product of two matrices and uh, in-class practice and homeworks. This is the this is the. A review from our last class. So matrix is essentially just a rectangular array of numbers when we put the numbers in some uh, table form they represent a matrix and in a matrix we have two things row and a column okay column one column two we have these two things and any number actually the first one first number represent the row second number represent the column so when you have something like this a 2, 3, it actually represents something like uh, if you have something like this, and let's say you have something like this, etc. So, a 2, 3, it represents that we have to go to row 2, row 2 is this one, and then we have to go to column 3, column 3 is this one, so that means this is the number. So, this one is represented by uh, 2, 3. Okay, A two three means this. And arranging uh, the data in matrix is uh, how do we arrange it or what does they represent physically? Is this uh, this is uh, an example taken from the book? Say in among nine hundred people in a survey, this is the finding of the survey. So, 200 males, they think that the federal defense spending is too high. They think that it is too high. 150, they think that this, this was too low. And 45 males, they had no opinion on this, uh, on this topic. 315 females think this is too high. 125 females think it is too low. 65 females had no opinion. So, when you write it, you see this first row we choose for male. These people think too high. This is the too high column. And uh, these people, 315 people, the uh, fe females, they think that it is too high. That's why this 315 is here. So they think that federal defense was too high. Federal defense spending was too high. And then comes too low. So this is the too low. This is the too low part. So too low, too low, this, uh, this part and no opinion is uh, the other part so this is how in a matrix we actually represent the data and in the matrix form we just uh, write the numbers but of course they, uh, they they definitely still represent the same concept these are the number of males this is the number of females this is too high this is too low this is uh, no opinion part so whenever you see some numbers anywhere basically they will mean something uh, from our real life from our real world that they can do that they have that power to represent uh, information from our real world okay so this is how we arrange the data in the matrix and so this one is a two by a three matrix this is two the two row and uh, three columns so two by three that's why this is two by three and it will become a square matrix if we have two by two Suppose in some particular case, if we just take too high and too low, then it will become a square matrix. Just to show, okay? Just to show. So square matrix means if m equals to n, number of rows and number of columns are same. That means it is a square matrix. Now addition and subtraction in the matrices. This is actually uh, somewhat straightforward, somewhat uh, very uh, intuitive. So a matrix A and matrix B is given, we have to add them. So in the addition, actually what we do is we just directly add with the numbers from the respective position. So if we add 2 and minus 3, answer is minus 1. This is how you get this answer. Then if you add 4 and 4 and 4 and 4 means 8 and put it in, in its own position. So this way actually the whole thing will continue. If you add minus 3 and 1, your answer comes minus 2. 
in the middle this is 4 plus 0 means uh, 8 plus 0 means 8 and the next line also comes this way first th this one 0 plus 6 means 6 1 plus 8 means 9 2 plus 2 means 4 3 plus 0 is 3 this way in the subtraction the the entire thing is same just instead of plus this is now minus this symbol is now minus so we have a negative sign here negative sign here so you see 2 the negative into negative that means positive 2 plus 3 equals to 5 then 4 minus 4 equal to 0 8 minus 0 equals to 8 minus 3 minus 1 equals to minus 4 this way let us continue okay this is the scalar multiple of the matrix the scalar mul multiple means there are a lot of examples that's why it looks a bit scary but this is super easy when a matrix is given a equals to 3 1 5 minus 2 0 6 then for 4a you just have to we just have to multiply by 4 all the numbers by 4 we have to multiply that means 4 into 3 4 into 1 4 into 5 4 into minus 2 4 into 0 4 into 6 so we just have to multiply them so 4 into 3 means 12 see 4 into 1 means 4 4 into 5 means 20 this way it continues see and if it is 1 by 1 third the same thing goes just we have to multiply all the numbers with that number when we have 3a minus 2b this kind of approach first we have to multiply 3 into a then 2 into b then do the subtraction because of the usual our multiplication rule because multiplication comes first then addition and subtraction okay so we can just follow this so a scalar multiple in the scalar multiple this is straightforward we just multiply with the numbers all the numbers inside the bracket we just multiply all of them now come to the product uh, rule find the product of two matrices this part we have a couple of parts here due to the this this topic is little bit uh, bigger that's why a row vector first of all let's define a row vector and column vector row vector is just a row okay just row of numbers this is a row vector and a column vector is just a column of numbers column column means uh, you know up and down column and row is left to right and multiplication is possible if you have same number of elements here as uh, this part here same number of element if you have three numbers here there must be three numbers if you have 10 numbers here there must be 10 numbers here okay because the reason is see you when you multiply you multiply r1 into c1 then you write r1 c1 then you write r2 into c2 then you write r2 c2 so if you continue this way suppose if there is more number here then you will be in short of finding any numbers from here so uh, they must be the number must be same equal in the both place so the row vector the, that the row vector and column vector can be multiplied only if they contain the same number of entries same number there should be same number we will give uh, we will show the multiplication with some practical example here is one example so there is like three entries and this is three so you multiply first three into three then you get nine here then five into four is like this minus five into four then two into minus five just then we do the addition addition among them so here in this case they must be same in this case we have three entries in each of them this is the multiplication i'll show one multiplication math from here let's let me show you something from here so one matrix is given a equals to this and b equals to this yeah. so a b means a into b the elements of a into elements of b so first number they got 13 here how to get 13 here let me show you that so in the matrix multiplication as you have seen you have to go this way and then come down to this way it means first you multiply this 2 and 1 so 2 into 1 means 2 
then you multiply this one and then two so one and two means if you multiply one plus one into two means two this one and this two so you see we are going this way and then come down the last one is three into three so three into three the three means nine So 2 plus 2 plus 9 means 13. This is how they got the 13 here. Now how they get this 7? For getting this 7, we have to do similar kind of thing, but we have to do it with this line. So first of all, 2, this same thing into 0. 2 into 0 means 0. Then 1, this 1 into this 1 equals to 1 so 1 plus 1 means 1 then 3 into 2 3 into 2 means 6 so 1 plus 6 equals to 7 this is how they get the 7 okay now uh, for the other part here we will have to do the similar thing like how they get this minus 1 so you see there is another line remaining for that line also now we have to do so 1 into 1 this thing 1 into 1 means 1 then minus 1 into that 2 this one we multiplied and now 2 minus 1 into 2 means let's write it here minus 1 into so first one was 1 then minus 1 into 2 means minus 2 then 0 into 3 then 0 into 3 0 into 3 means 0 so plus 0 so you see this is 1 this is minus 2 so ultimately you have minus 1 okay and now same thing will go for the other part other this minus 1 we have to just uh, continue with this one and this line here okay this way we can multiply that so in the multiply multiplication first we go along the row then we come down along the column for the multiplication okay. and no need to show all of them if you automatically know the answer then you can just skip the uh, calculations and you can just fast forward if you want or you can uh, write all of them also both both ways fine whichever fits with you so this is one important thing in the multiplication concept this is one important thing suppose a matrix is given m by r another matrix is given r by n so just to show you with uh, in contrast to this uh, given example here this matrix is what by what this matrix so first comes row so this matrix is 2 by column 1 2 3 so three columns here and this matrix is 3 by 1 2 3 4 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 this one what is this is this number here r must be equals to this number here then multiplication is possible or else it is not possible what does it mean it means that it means that you see this number is 3 here and this number is also 3 here that means matrix a and matrix b you can multiply and you will have some answer for a b you will have some answer for a b okay and what will be the this is 2 by 3 this is 3 by 4 so what will be the answer of this a b what by what this is given by this number first number here and the last number here that means the answer of a b will be 2 by 4 matrix so answer will be 2 by 4 matrix So before you do the math, actually you know what answer you are going to get, what type of answer you are going to get by analyzing this concept. Now uh, just, just to extend the concept here, let me ask you this question. Is it possible from this example b into a, can we do the b into a? Think about it, what is your answer? 
So C B into A B means three by four and A means two by three. Two by three. In the matrix you can write by as into okay. So you see this number here is four and this number here is two. So they are not same number, they are different number. So you cannot multiply B A. You cannot multiply B A here. You can multiply A B but B A is not possible. This is important because sometimes if you start doing a math without analyzing this way, you may go to some place like uh, you will see that uh, you are not getting the answer, you are not getting the answer, you are not getting the answer. But actually maybe the problem is not with you, problem is with the concept here because that is actually not possible. That's why you are not getting the answer. Okay, so this is possible. In addition and subtraction, it is actually pretty straightforward. They, uh, both side has to be same, same, like 3 into 3, then another has to be 3 into 3, 2 into 2, then another has to be 2 into 2. So addition subtraction is pretty straightforward. Another thing here is uh, identity matrix. So this is an identity matrix when the only the diagonal elements are only 1 and all others are 0. So this is called the identity matrix. This is 3 into 3 identity. This is 2 into 2 identity. That's why it is I2. That's why it is I3. So why it is important is this is this is actually uh, pretty much interesting. When you multiply a matrix with this with, with an identity matrix, uh, relevant identity matrix actually the matrix remains the same. There is no change. There is no difference here. Okay. When you multiply a matrix with this identity matrix, it remains the same. A into I three, you get answer is A. This minus one C answer is same. If a, a B is given here, suppose A equals to A equals to this. Suppose you see, you get the same answer. This is also taken from the book, by the way. So, I two into A. So I two is this one. A is this one. You multiply, you get the same answer. <coughs> so what does it mean? It means that when you multiply a matrix with the identity matrix, it remains the same. Means this is something like you are multiplying by one. In, in, in our regular algebra maths, when you multiply, suppose 5 into 1, 5 into 1, you get 5. 5 into 1, you get 5. So you get the same thing, right? When you get the same answer, that means it is like multiplying by 1. So in matrix, multiplying by identity matrix, it means this is like multiplying by 1. Why I'm saying this, the reason is there are a couple of maths in our exercise, which is related to that. So 5 into identity matrix. So you have some, some other things here. So in this case, you have to multiply this identity matrix by 5. Then you add with the CA, suppose this, in this example. Okay. So and the same thing you will have to do. I, I3 means 3 into 3 identity matrix. I2 means 2 into 2 identity matrix. All right. So try to uh, give a try to solve some maths from here, uh, if possible, these maths uh, for practice, okay? And if you face problem, we can discuss it during the class. And I think that's all for today's uh, video. Uh, thank you all. Thank you very much.